Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. You'll regret the day you were born. I'll make you squeal.
That was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the Trial of the Grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. We'll speak later. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide and his lab burned down. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Tr she re So why haven't you- Triss would ever heard of- Eskel, I- An incom- He intent- Others- I get it. Mages stop- Tell me about the Trial of the Grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. 
Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, and the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later. Yes? We'll speak later. What you... Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. How can I? We'll talk later. What do you need? What do I do now? Talk to Vesemir. He'll. G I'll find you later. Yes. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have, plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush.
Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. <sighs> Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. 
nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. <laughs> Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens... Their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the Circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. <laughs>